What's up? My name's Josh, but I go by Resurrection. Growing up and living in the Bay Area my entire life, I wanted to share my love and appreciation of Northern California. The Bay Area's population has about 7.77 million people and still counting to this day. If you've never been to the Bay Area, it's well known for its rich diversity, culture, food, music, sports, and so much more. By watching this series of segments that I take great pride in making, I hope you'll join me on my journey and get to know me a lot better. Welcome to the Bay, the segment that I dedicated to the Bay Area, California. This is where I'm from. Dub Nation! Yo, what up everybody? It's your guy Rez, and I am back again with y'all for another dope episode of Welcome to the Bay. Yay! So in this episode right here, I want to share with you guys a new pickup flossing right now, right here, decked out in my new jacket and jersey, of course. You already know, guys, had to rock the new Mixtape City Edition Authentic of my boy Steph Curry. But today, I wanted to feature this new fresh jacket that I got on. By the way, if you do want to see a review on this jersey, I did a video that I will link above if you want to check that out in more depth. But this jacket, yo, let's go back to this jacket right here. So I do want to give a huge shout out to the people over at Fanatics for sending this to me safely. You know, I honestly thought my order was going to get canceled. And the reason I say that is because when you browse on Fanatics and you click on your size, it will tell you if there is like a limited amount of supplies for each size. So it'll tell you if there's like eight left or five left. When I clicked on my size, which is the extra large, it said there was one left. And I was like, yo, is really, is it just one like actual jacket left? Cause all the sizes were sold out. So anyways, I hit that button, add to cart, it adds to the cart and I immediately checked out. Luckily, you know, I had some fan cash and stuff like that. So I got this slightly below retail, but I'm very excited because I love this jacket. Just having it right now, having it on my body, it's a very comfortable jacket. But for those of you who are wondering what the jacket is, they call it the Nike Thermo Flex Showtime Bomber Jacket of the Golden State Warriors. So it's interesting to me because when I think of bomber jackets, I think of, you know, the snap-ons with the buttons and stuff like that. But they call it the bomber uh, jacket style. And I love this jacket. It's very comfortable. But why don't I break down the jacket's details for you right quick? So to start things off, the jacket is made of polyester and I believe it's dry fit. So this will really keep your body cool and warm at the same time. I know that really doesn't make any sense, but the way that Nike designs their stuff, their products and stuff is intended to keep your body dry. Uh, but since this is a jacket, it'll also keep you a little bit warm. I don't know how to explain it. It's very weird. I know I'm not making any sense guys, but the material is very comfortable for sure. On the left portion of the jacket, you have that beautiful embroidered bridge of the Golden State Warriors. Shout outs to my Bay Area peeps. And on the right chest portion, you have the Nike swoosh that is embroidered on in that white. I wish they kind of gave it that diamond effect like they did with the jerseys and stuff. I understand they're trying to go for a more simple and sleek look, but I thought that, you know, hey, if you're using the 75th anniversary, just go all out, add that treatment. I understand they did it with a diamond patch on the bottom right portion of the jacket, but I wish I could have seen that here on the Swoosh logo, but it's still a dope jacket nonetheless. You have the traditional Warriors colors of that royal blue and gold on the neck portion of the jacket. Following that, you also have them on the arms as well. What I love about this jacket and with this season, of course, is the 75th anniversary treatment. So you do have that right here on the bottom right portion of the jacket. You have that beautiful Jerry West NBA logo with that rubberized feel. Uh, it's got a really interesting material. Definitely feels like this on the Steph Curry, the Bay Bridge, but you have that same material that is used on the diamond of the 75th anniversary right there. One of my favorite parts of the jacket is the Warriors logos throughout the years. As you can see on the left portion, they are printed on guys, so they're not stitched. That's one thing that I wish they did because I know that this over time, uh, depending on how much wears you get into this and if you mishandle it these prints can potentially crack but they have some of my favorite design logos right here just looking over the years with the we believe the run tmc days and the city logo and then of course you have the 75th anniversary logo that the warriors are currently using in their season on the back side of the jacket there is no designs i kind of wish they added something because i felt like something was missing right there in the back but again like i said this is a very simple look this jacket retailed for 159 dollars 99 sense which is basically 160 bucks you know um, i know that might be kind of pricey but like i said you know if you um, go online it's sold out this jacket you can't find it on nike's site anymore and on fanatics and other retailer sites i have not seen this jacket available in any size 
sizes. Um, they might do a restock. I'm hoping that they do for people who missed out because I know a lot of uh, Dumb Nation fans who wanted this jacket, but they weren't able to get it because it sold out. But luckily for me, I was able to get it and do this review for you guys. So hopefully my video will help you determine whether you want this jacket or whether you want to pass on it. Overall, my final thoughts on this jacket, I like it. You know, I like the simple look, but there's just a couple of things that they wish they added. Like, you know, I kind of wish that they use like embroidery on the actual logos on the uh, arm portion of the jacket. And then also on the swoosh, I kind of wish they added that diamond effect. But again, you know, obviously I bought it. You know, I really like this jacket a lot. It's very comfortable. It's very simple but it's got enough flair for it to pop, you know, with the yellow colors on black. I feel like black and yellow are colors, very subtle colors. It's hard to pull that off. And I feel like uh, you have to have a certain kind of outfit, but because the Warriors are wearing this style and this color primarily this season, yo, you gotta enjoy it while it lasts, man. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for me in this review. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about this new Golden State Warriors Nike Thermoflex bomber jacket. There's so many freaking titles for this jacket but let me know what you guys think about this did you guys cop it did you guys pass did you guys want it did you guys not want it you know um and if you didn't pick it up was there another jacket of another team that you picked up because i know uh off the top of my head i know the grizzlies had one which was a really dope one the nets had one which was just an amazing piece i definitely would have copped it if i was like a diehard nets fan but you know obviously my first choice is my dubs because we killing it right now so excited for dub nation this season i really do hope that we win a chip man my fingers are crossed because it's looking good man we are currently number one in the nba right now i appreciate all the continued support and i also appreciate you watching this video you already know guys more videos to come in the near future so i'm gonna head on out of here about to watch the game but i hope you guys have a wonderful day dub nation we out peace